So now let's do a problem that's a little bit, uh, seems a little bit less linear, at least at first. Let's say that I'm traveling down the highway at 70 miles per hour. Only slightly above speed limit. Uh, and let's say I want to know how fast am I going in terms of meters per second. Now this seems kind of confusing because we have two units here and two units here, and we're converting both. How do we even do that? Well, let's walk through it. So again, we can use the general strategy to do this. Step one, we've already completed. We want to convert miles per hour into meters per second. Step two is to identify any in-between units. Now, when you do this, you're actually going to have two trails here. You're going to have two lines. You're going to have the length units, and the time units. So miles, we're going to take to feet, and feet to meters. And for time, we're going to take the hours to minutes to seconds. So then for step three, we have to rate the conversion factors. Now, the way that I prefer to do this is to just put everything together in one line. Because what you can actually do is you can pick one to start with. So let's, let's pick the length one. So let's pick miles. So we start with 70 miles for every one hour. And then we're going to say, OK, well, let's just pretend we're just converting miles. That's all we're worried about. So we're going to do miles. We have a conversion factor here. Uh, we're going to put miles on the bottom so we cancel out them, the two miles. Uh, and then we're going to have on top, uh, we're going to have feet. And we know there are 5,280 feet in one mile. And then we need to get to meters. And uh, I believe in a previous video, I mentioned that uh, there are 3.28 feet in one meter. And we want feet on the bottom here. Because I know we've only seen so far uh, one numbers that are one on the bottom, units that have only one on the bottom. But uh, it's actually perfectly fine to put a number that is not 1 on the bottom. And that's actually what we have to do here in order to cancel out the feet. So now we're left with meters, which is exactly what we want. But only half, because we also want seconds. And right now we have meters per hour. And if you calculated this out, if you went to step 4 and multiplied, and you did 70 times 5280 over 3.28, you'd get meters per hour. We want meters per second. And it turns out you can just tack on the conversion factors for hour to second on the end of this line. So let's do that. So here, hour is actually on the bottom. So in order to get from hours to minutes, you need to put the hour on the top here. And minutes will go on bottom. And there's one hour for every 60 minutes. And then the next conversion factor gets from minutes to seconds. So in order to cancel out this minute, minute needs to be on top. And then seconds is on the bottom. So we know there's 60, sorry, we know there are uh, 60 seconds uh, for every one minute. And this works out too. Minute cancels minute, hour cancels hour, and you're left with seconds. So we're left with meters per second. And step four is to go through and multiply and divide everything. Now, step four conceptually is not very tricky, but can be tricky when you're inputting everything into the calculator. Because what you're going to find uh, is that the calculator might not always do what you want it to. So there are a few ways you can do this. You can multiply all the numerators, keep, take note of what that number is, multiply all the denominators, take note of what that number is, and then divide the product of the numerators by the product of the denominators. One way to do it. You can also, uh, if your calculator has parentheses, you can use parentheses to just set up this exact conversion factor, set of conversion factors. Do it that way. You can also say, well, you can do a, I call it a zigzag. You can say, OK, well, 70 times 5280 divided by 1. Times 1 divided by 3.28. Times 1 divided by 60. Times 1 divided by 60. Um, and that will also give you the correct answer. A um, few different ways to do it. So here, if we want uh, an actual answer, I have a calculator. So we're going to say 70 times 5280 is equal to uh, 369, 600. 
And on the bottom, uh, we have 3.28 times 3,600, which is 60 times 60. And we have 11.808. And now we can divide these. Uh, and if we divide this, we know this is in terms of meters, this is in terms of seconds. So we can say, okay, 369600 divided by 11808 is equal to 31.3. And that is in units, of course, of meters per second. So 70 miles per hour is about 31 meters per second, um, which it seems like a reasonable answer. Um, a good test to, to kind of do when you're doing these problems is if you get an answer that says that uh, you have, you're have you traveling at 31 million meters per second, think about that. Think about what your answer is saying and see if it makes sense. It would make no sense to travel 31 million meters per second if you're traveling 70 miles, 70 miles in one hour, but you travel 30 million meters every second. There's no way that can happen. Similarly, you could also, you know, the same kind of argument holds if you're going at, you know, point zero 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 three one meters per second. That's that's way too slow. So just usually check and see if your answer makes sense. Um, that's a, a good a good general strategy to do. So uh, this was one of the more more complicated uh, unit conversion problems because you have to worry about. Uh, units being converted in the numerator and the denominator, miles per hour to meters per second. Um, but hopefully that you can see that this is actually not as bad as it looks, and it's just setting up a whole bunch of conversion factors and multiplying it out. Just be careful of how you enter into the calculator.